So I'm going to show you something that I call a fin bungee and I use it when I'm entering the water, uh, let's say from a ladder or let's say I need to carry one or even two cylinders in my hands as I make a shore entry, for example. And what it means, I don't have to have the fins in my hands. I can have them clipped away and then I can obviously don the cylinders, um, put the clip away and go diving. So I never agree that you should have your fins on and try and walk on a surface. I think that's very unsafe and you're asking probably to have an accident. So very simple little thing. It's made up just of a double end up and a piece of bungee. This is actually my personal piece of bungee. It was kindly donated by a, a very good friend and diver of mine. She'll tell you where to get the bungee from, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna show you how we make that okay. So you can use any color you like. We're always gonna go with a piece of black. Now I've already measured this out. This is around 50 to 55 centimeters. It is just a, a five or six mil bungee. The heavier your fins are, probably you might want to think about a heavier set, a thicker piece of bungee. Um, but generally speaking, I'm starting off with 50, and we're now going to go for what is now the fisherman's knot, which everyone's been practicing because you've got time. There we are, there's the knot. So, <laughs> I'm going to take my double ender and I could just pass it through the fin straps over here and off we go and then this will just clip up onto my chest earring give my hands free so I can make an entry. The bungee itself and the double ender I'll just keep those in a pocket could keep them in a pouch or if you have a dry suit pocket with a small outer pocket then that's probably the smart place to put it and it makes it easier to access for when you're exiting the dive also.